I got y'all right here on the four hour chart. And if y'all watch my videos, y'all see everything has played out and continue to play out. So anyways, as y'all can see, we got one test right here, two tests right here, and this will be the third. So we could possibly break out right now to this next level, which will be resistance around 22,500. And we should get a rejection here, right? But then we could come back down to just above 21.5 and don't break it though. It has to stay above 21.5 and then we'll get a final attempt and we'll fully break out of this thing and go do this 100 EMA, which should be around 25.5. That's one option. The other option is that we could come up here and never break through past 22.5. So keep that in mind. 22.5 is the next resistance level. If we break through that, we're looking at 25.5. And then a reversal after these numbers. After we break down 22, we go 25.5, reversal. If we don't break out of 22.5, we're reversing at 22.5, which would be this blue line right here. And that's what I expect to do. So let me show y'all on the daily chart, right? On the daily chart, this hit right here that I just mentioned at 22.5 will be considered a test to the 20 MA on the daily. Now, if it was to come up here to 25.5, right, it'll be around this general range. But by this time, this 50 EMA will be down here. So that is why I believe that we have two options. And also, this will be the resistance. Like I say, either way it goes, the market will crash anyways, because that's what it shows. And I say this also, you look to the left, you see where this last spike down is? That's the support level. And this is the next resistance level, which would be around 25.5. So it's definitely possible that we can go to 25.5, but just know it's going to be a hard crash. Because you see, one, two, this will be the third drop that I've been warning y'all about. And as y'all can see, it stayed in the zones and did exactly like I told y'all. Now let me show y'all a little further out on the weekly chart. So the weekly chart, I showed y'all large head and shoulders with a head and shoulders on the right head and shoulders and an M formation on the right head and shoulders. That's how I know it's going to be a crazy drop. And as we see, it's dropping. And got caught up on the support level that I already had. And I showed y'all right here why I knew it was coming down here. Y'all see the support resistance right there. Go to the left. Boom. Super resistance. That's how I know this is a level. Next level, you see this top of that candle. You see this spikes up. That's how you know it's about a resistance slash support. So this is our next level we're looking at at around 14,000. But the only difference is because you see the way this thing is barely green. Like it played around all week to confuse y'all because we're in this area. So what's going to happen is, because you see other ways some reds here, like that's what that green is. They're going to drop it, but I believe they're going to drop it all the way to $10,000, right? And they reverse with a candlestick and close of uh, 14000 just like they did here. This is what I'm expecting right here. It's going to be a candlestick for this weekly within the next week or two, all the way down to ten. But I believe it should be by, by next week, how the way it's looking now. But we should come down here, spike up 14000 and then we'll have one more drop after that. And this drop will take us all the way down to around 5,300. But I'm gonna say 55, keep it simple. All the way down here. But once again, it's gonna be one of these candlesticks, but it's gonna spike all the way back above here. Like it has to spike back up above $10,000. And when that happens, that's the real reversal of the market. Now, let me show y'all the monthly chart. It's a large pattern. If you watch all my videos, it's always a pattern that pops up and that's how you post a trade because it's so simple and so easy and they literally give it to you because they do the same thing all the time. I can watch it. Anyways, you see the dub right here, right? The W, this is the retracement. The reason why I say it had to close above 10,000 because it'll fail, this whole pattern would be a failure if it don't close above 10,000 in a monthly in a monthly candle. And as y'all can see, they're following these levels pretty, you know what I'm saying, pretty right on. And like I showed y'all before, once we get below these, I mean, it's, it's going to drop way, way faster than it already has been dropping. And of course, the, other, the rest of the market can go by way faster, you know what I mean? As a percentage-wise, you know, Bitcoin dropped 10%, the rest of the market will drop, you know, 40%. So, I mean, just be on the lookout for that and, and the rug pulls also. But yeah, like I said, by the time we reverse back up above 10,000, that's the real reversal of the market and we will continue on up back to our previously tested areas. 
as you can see, we tested a high one time, two times. So the third time will break out, and that's when we'll be seeing that 100,000 plus Bitcoin. But anyways, anything I said is not financial advice at all. Y'all grown, y'all make your own decisions, but like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.